when we get into the storm. All right, I got a button right here that controls all electric windows. Uh -huh. I'll drop the car down, uh -huh. flat down on the ground. Right. All right. And you see sparks coming out from the car because the frame is sitting on the ground. Mm -hmm. and then I'll hit this button here, and all the windows will go up. Oh, simultaneously? Simultaneously. This is the master control. You got individual buttons on there. I got the fuses pulled out of them so the people won't close the windows by accident. Yeah. And cut their fingers off. So once I close this car and pour the pint, the reed is sitting there and he's got his seat belts on and I got one job. Well, it's actually two jobs. Mm -hmm. One is a little red button down here. It's locator beacon. Mm -hmm. If the car gets picked up off the ground, I hit that locator beacon so they can find us. Oh, wow. And the second job is grab hold of Reed's seat belt to keep him in the seat. <laughs> <laughs> now, this, I don't know if y'all seen this part of it. It's got the right seat belt. Okay, you got the one set of wipers out there. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's cool. Now, people are asking me, why, how can I drive with all that going on? Uh, Daddy, I never see them. <laughs> you get so used to them that uh, you don't even see them. You forget how to turn them off, too. <laughs> but uh, that's the story of that. Now, when I'm driving this thing, I've got uh, my foot on the accelerator, one resting on top of the brake, one hand here, and one hand sitting here. Mm -hmm. I'm always driving with one hand because I have to control the height of the car and I have to c control the rear flaps of the car, the pressure out back in the car. The more uh, lift I put up here, mm -hmm. the more weight I got to put down there. In other words, I got to raise the flaps up higher on the back end of the car. Faster I go, more flaps, more pressure on the front. So do you have to consistently raise and lower yes. when you're like riding on the turnpike versus like gravel? Not, uh, not, not just on the turnpike, go. Uh, mostly when you're in rough terrain, when right. you're in a storm hunt and you got a lot of wind and everything and you're on a rough highway moving up and down and everything, then you got to control your right hand. So, but if you're moving like into a storm, the front end's going to be lower than the back, right? Oh yeah, so it's going to be like this right here. But you can't let it go past the suspension on the car because you wouldn't have no little springs, no shocks, no nothing. It's solid hit and then you lose control of the car. So how do you know when you're like too far? When the car don't respond. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good answer. Uh, how do you know when you got it just right? Yeah. yeah. I'm breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. So uh, that, that's about the size of that. Yeah. yeah. It's very uh, simple. Very good cut and dry operation. Mm -hmm. The driver's job is to get Reed and Chris close to the storm. Mm -hmm. The mechanical engineer, he sits right there. He controls the air cannon out there. So I get them into close to the storm, to the edge of the storm. The storm formation will be right here. And we try to get real close to it mm -hmm. so they can fire the cannon off to right. get the instruments up into the storm. And then we go to turn around. Huh? You doing cool, showing me a cool stereo? Not oh, yet. Definitely. Yeah. After the cannon is fired, we got to get out of there, then Reed receives all the information there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And once he gets all the information, he, where'd he go? <laughs> he will uh, tell everybody in the local area where we at, uh, notify the local authorities mm -hmm. that what the storm is, how strong it is, where it's going, and where it's going to set down. Mm -hmm. Then he notifies the uh, National Weather Service. Everywhere you see a piece of Velcro mm -hmm. up there, there's a camera mounted. There's uh, some up here. I'll take these down. Yeah, I would too. And uh, you notice this strip yeah. right here over your head is ripped out? Yeah. That's the camera that shines on me. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's not there. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not on camera. <laughs> uh, but uh, this one up here, if I bump my head on it, it gets gone. Mm -hmm. But mostly I just concentrate on driving, reading them, they take care of everything else. There's even cameras mounted here, another laptop down, another laptop stand because the computer over here, computer over there. He's got two handheld cameras, there's 12 cameras on the inside, two CB radios, two GPSs, there's uh, three power converters, there's radar, sonar, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. The CB radios consist of a ham operated radio and two other different types of CB radios in the car. Mm -hmm. The car is completely loaded. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's on the outside, mm -hmm. on the mask up there, you got a camera up on the top up there that shoots a 360. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Give you one more three. <laughs>